From Maine lobster rolls to New York pizza, here is each state's favorite food. Alabama's pick is smoked chicken with white sauce. Chicken is smoked for hours and then dunked in a tangy white sauce. Alaska commercially harvests more than 100 million salmon a year. It can be cooked a number of ways. Grilled, smoked, cured, you name it. The Sonoran dog is originally from Mexico, but is extremely popular in Arizona. The bacon-wrapped hot dog is topped with beans, onions, tomato, and a drizzle of mustard and jalapeno salsa. Arkansas takes its cheese dip very seriously. There's even a World Cheese Dip Championship in Little Rock every year. 90% of the avocados produced in the U.S. come from California. And it's not just guacamole and avocado toast that's being made. There are avocado burgers, fries, chocolate, and even beer. Rocky Mountain oysters are a Colorado specialty. And they're not oysters. They're deep-fried bull testicles. Some say they taste like gamey calamari. New Haven-style pizza, also known as a pizza, is characterized by its coal-fired thin crust. It originated at the Frank Pepe Pizzeria, which is also known for its white clam pizza. Chicken and slippery dumplings is a Delaware comfort food. These slippery dumplings are rolled out paper thin and cut into large rectangles. The Cuban sandwich is made with ham, roast pork, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. It was created by Cuban immigrants in Florida. The peach cobbler is one of the most popular desserts in Georgia, especially since the peach is the official state fruit. Poke is native to Hawaii. It consists of diced raw fish such as salmon or tuna tossed in sauce. Idaho grows the most potatoes in the US. These potatoes are made into french fries, chips, and other carb delights. While there is a debate on which restaurant has the best, it's irrefutable that Chicago deep dish pizza is a must-have. The gooey treat is baked in a pan and full of cheesy goodness. Indiana loves its pork tenderloin sandwiches, especially when they're fried to crispy perfection. These sandwiches are known for being bigger than your face. The Made Right sandwich is a loose meat beef sandwich. It's kind of like a sloppy joe without the sauce. It can get a little bit messy, but it is totally worth it. Kansans love their barbecue ribs. Baby backs are coated with special rub and smothered with finger licking barbecue sauce. The hot brown is an open face sandwich consisting of turkey, tomato, mornay sauce, and bacon. It's put under a broiler until crispy and brown and was invented in the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. Gumbo is a Louisiana treasure and also the state's official cuisine. The dish has its roots in many different cultures, including African, French, and Choctaw. Often served from a big pot, it's filled with chicken and sausage or a seafood medley. Lobster rolls rule in Maine, especially since 90% of US lobsters are caught off the Maine coast. A lobster roll is piled high with large chunks of lobster with little to no fillers. Marylanders are obsessed with crab. And one of the best ways to eat it is crab cake. Just don't forget to add some Old Bay. No food is more iconic in Massachusetts than clam chowder. This creamy soup is filled with vegetables, cream, stock, and clams. Get it in a bread bowl to make it extra special. Mackinac Island Fudge is a must-have in Michigan. There are over 13 fudge shops, collectively making more than 10,000 pounds of fudge daily during the peak travel season, making Mackinac Island America's fudge capital. Nothing screams Minnesota more than tater tot hot dish. Vegetables, ground beef, and cream of mushroom soup are topped with tater tots and roasted to golden perfection. You can find the best fried catfish in Mississippi. Not surprising since the state is the world's leading producer of pond-raised catfish. Toasted ravioli is St. Louis's fun take on the pasta dish. Each ravioli is breaded, fried, and served with marinara sauce. Huckleberries are grown in the northwestern United States, especially in the mountainous parts of Montana, and they can be made into anything. You get it. Chili with a cinnamon roll is a match made in heaven. This pairing has been served as a school lunch in the Midwest since the 1960s. 
pre-coronavirus, buffet culture was big in Las Vegas. Prices range from $5 for a breakfast buffet to $65 at the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace, which included unlimited prime rib and crab legs. Apple cider donuts are a New England favorite. New Hampshire is home to many apple orchards, including the oldest continuously operated one in America, Applecrest Farms. Saltwater taffy dates back to the 1880s in Atlantic City, New Jersey. A mixture of corn syrup, sugar, and butter is stretched until it becomes aerated, then individually wrapped. The New Mexico chili is a staple ingredient in New Mexico cuisine. It starts out as a green pepper and ripens into a red one. It's often roasted or made into a puree. New York pizza is legendary. Some say it's the New York City tap water that gives the dough its characteristic foldable yet crispy crust. There are two barbecue styles in North Carolina, Eastern and Lexington. Eastern lays claim to whole hog barbecuing, while Lexington style mostly uses pork shoulder meat with a ketchup-based sauce. Nephla soup is rich and creamy, filled with potato and small dough balls. This dish comes from the German Russians who settled in North Dakota. The Buckeye is a peanut butter ball dipped in chocolate. It resembles the nut of the Buckeye tree, often found in Ohio. Chicken fried steak is the epitome of Southern comfort food. A large piece of beef steak is breaded and pan fried, and you can't forget the gravy. The Marionberry pie is an Oregon favorite. The Marionberry was actually created at Oregon State University as part of a berry developing partnership with the U.S. Department of Agriculture in the early 1900s. The Philly cheesesteak is world famous. A hoagie roll is loaded with an absurd amount of beefsteak, then provolone or cheese whiz is added on top. Stuffed clams, also known as stuffies, are a local favorite in Rhode Island. Giant quahog clams are stuffed with clam, herbs, and breading. You've got to try a low country boil in South Carolina. It consists of shrimp, sausages, potatoes, corn, and some Old Bay. Chislik is pieces of cubed red meat, typically lamb, venison, or beef. It's usually grilled or deep fried. German and Russian immigrants are credited with bringing the dish to South Dakota in the 1870s. Memphis style ribs can be prepared dry or wet. Dry ribs are covered with a dry rub, while wet ribs are brushed with sauce throughout the cooking process. Texas goes big for barbecue. It's especially known for its juicy fall off the bone ribs and tender briskets that have been smoked all day. Jello is so popular in Utah that it's the official state snack. Utah culture is closely tied to Mormon culture, which also loves Jell-O. Vermont is the leading producer of maple syrup in the U.S. Tree sap is boiled into sugar and then filtered into syrup before making its way onto your pancakes. Smithfield ham is a hometown favorite for Virginia. It's a specific form of ham cured in Smithfield, Virginia. Coffee culture is big in Washington. Home to coffee giant Starbucks, the state also has many independently owned coffee shops to fuel your caffeine cravings. West Virginians love their pepperoni rolls. They were invented as an easy lunch meal for coal miners in the 1920s. Wisconsin is considered the cheese state, and one of the best ways to eat cheese is cheese curds. Whether they're eaten fresh or deep fried, they make an awesome snack. Bison steaks are popular in Wyoming. They're described as having a lighter, slightly sweeter flavor than beef. 